guys this is a video where I'm showing how I deleted this uh, fuel selector valve from uh, my Ford with dual fuel tank so this one's got the electric low pressure pump option where there's a uh, fuel in tank fuel pump in both the front and rear and uh, here's the valve that selects between the front and rear tank that's a bigger line there is supply that's return uh, for the front tank that's uh, for the supply and return for the rear tank and that's what goes to the engine and depending on what you select in that switch near the radio it's either going to select automatically the front tank or the rear tank now what happened in my case is uh, this thing started acting up and sometimes it would not select the front tank when I select the front tank so basically the pump would run but this here wouldn't be selected so it would be still in the rear position and that caused my pump to burn up um, over repeated times when the pump was trying to pump but it couldn't it caused the pump to go out so that was a painful thing to replace so I just decided to completely get rid of this because I just can't trust one this is Ford OEM so how good can be these new China made ones right so what I've done here is replaced it with uh, just a three-way brass valve. Right now that brass valve, that's for supply and that's return. And basically uh, supply is three-eighths, return at five-sixteenths, but I know this one is bigger, but it's just got some funny connectors on it. Right now it's uh, pointing straight here and here. That means it's selected for the front. And uh, the return is uh, the rear is closed here because both of them are pointing up op opposite. And uh, this is what I've done for the selectors, uh, doing the job of also connecting the fuel sending units. What I've done here is uh, just hooked up a manual switch. Right now it's selected in the front position. So basically, what that would do is uh, connect the uh, red and the black wires. That would send. Uh, signal to the fuel gauge that it's selected the front tank. So if I change the switch position to rear, it would connect the yellow and the black wire, and basically that means uh, it's going to tell the fuel gauge the the rear tank is selected. So these two other ones that are here are not used anymore because that's what collect uh, controls the old uh, selector valve. I'm not using it here, so it's pretty simple. And uh, I mean, this can't go wrong, you know. So all I need to do is now uh, put some electrical tape around this and zip tie it somewhere so it's, you know, away from the road. There's the finished product. So I've got uh, the electrical all uh, sealed up and there's no power coming here. In fact, uh, there's probably just one fuse that runs here that I don't think even uh, needs to be used for anything else. So I might just pull out that fuse, but that's supply, that's returned. Everything looking good. Well, you might ask, what is that then gonna do from now? It's still gonna be the uh, power, power source for the fuel pumps. Basically, moving it from front to back will uh, change out this relay here. So this truck has I believe it's the this relay here. It's going to still uh, send power either to the red wire or the the brown wire on that side, depending on which selection you make. So that, I want to just leave it like that. So all I have to do is make sure that if I'm selecting the front, that I have the valves, the manual valves in the right position, and then I should be good to go. Because what happened is I would flip it to front, and then it, the selector wouldn't switch sometimes. Sometimes. No, it wouldn't do it all the time. Sometimes. And with, with that, what happens is the pump keeps running and the selector is called, you know, set in the rear position, so it'll burn up the pump if it, the pump tries running it over and over again with it not being able to push fluid through. So I had to replace the fuel pump on this one because of that. So I'm just sick and tired of this selector valve. Hopefully this solution is uh, gonna work long-term for me. Hope that was helpful, thank you.